Hello, yes, thank you. I'm very important. Here's some news? Question mark? Because maybe not news to a lot of people. The news being that cops are a, uh, a problem for people who are most likely non-white. And also, they aren't very good at their job. No question mark. Uh, just, it's, it's just generally true. Like, when people argue that abolishing the police would devolve us into a gritty John Carpenter world filled with unsolved murders and rapes and vandalism, I hate to break it to those hypothetical people, but um, we sort of already live in that world. Or at least a world where 40% of murders go unsolved, as well as 70% of goddamn sexual assaults, and nearly 90% of burglaries. That's not the percentage of solved cases, but, and I, I really could stress it more, but probably not enough, the very high percentage of unsolved cases in the world we live in. And by world, I mean country of America, the United States of, according to the FBI, as in the people in charge of all the crime and also catching the occasional sewer monster. This America place is actually quite a good place to do crimes because of all the bad police. So, uh, geez, uh, new question mark. Why do we have cops? Or at least, why do we have so many cops? Not only are the crimes not being solved, but one could argue that they are also adding all kinds of new crimes. Crimes where the police brutalize and murder innocent people, sometimes while the people are literally sleeping in their homes, and then see no consequence for doing those crimes. You know, like, the police aren't actually keepers of the peace, so much as they're just another gang who happens to have the most control at the moment. And if you're thinking, uh, wait, Wait a second there, important Cody. That's not my personal experience with the cops. I would invite you to look down at your skin right this moment and note the, um, the hue. Because statistically speaking, it's probably that white color, the one that most of the cops have, and most presidents also, and most of the wealthy people and politicians and actors playing Asian roles, and you get the idea. I'm not here to tell you why the cops are bad mainly because I've made a bunch of other videos about that, which you can watch. And like and subscribe, and tell your friends and enemies and lovers and lover enemies. And also, like, other people who study history talk about where the cops came from. Slave patrols. Because slaves were property, even though they were people. So, like, brutalizers of people and protectors of property is what cops started out to be. And then, um... They changed. But yeah, we need no talk more about that. What I'd much rather talk about is what we should do about the fact that cops are bad and the specific proposal to defund the police and what that means and why it's okay. Because here's some news. Despite the police being violent and ineffective, people aren't all that keen on defunding them. People are warming up to the idea, but the idea is surprisingly unpopular. Like, in every poll. All of them. All the polls. It's so unpopular that even one Bernard Sanders has distanced himself from the idea. And that guy's, like, down for everything. He's f***ing wild. Look him up sometime. So it's a no-likey on defunding the police. And honestly, that feels a little frustrating, mainly because it's quite possible that the people rejecting the idea of defunding the police might also have a less than perfect understanding of what that concept means, partly due to misleading framing from people who don't want to do it. And that's why this video, the one you are watching, exists. To explain in a clear way what it means to defund the police so that you or your loved one or enemy or lover enemy could perhaps reassess their opinion of it. And heck, if you watch this and still think it's a bad idea, then so be it. But also you're dead to me. But also we're all dead eventually. So. Okay, let's begin with a catchy title like, um, Stop Cop. That's nah, not very good. That's kind of trash. Okay. The police cease. Take, take the Police Quest logo and replace Quest with Divest. I'm open to ideas, honestly. We went with a Blue Thunder pun. 1983's Blue Thunder. That's good. 
could have gone with NYPD boo or new Jack sh but let's uh we're we're drawing them in with a Roy Scheider film and not like the obvious ones we could have gone with like the French connection between race and police shootings or like something he was, he was in another thing like with like water like he was there was water in it. He was in charge. I don't know. This should not be the whole video. So let's define it. And no more American way to do that than a white man asking a Black Lives Matter founder and woman to explain it for him and her voice to slowly cut out due to technical difficulties while no one intervenes. Explain what you mean by that phrase. When we talk about defunding the police, what we're saying is invest in the resources that our communities need. So much of policing right now is generated and directed towards quality of life issues, homelessness, drug addiction, uh, uh, domestic violence, and, and conflict between people. Followed by me, another white man, re-explaining what she was saying as if I'm the best person to explain it to you. You know, in kind of the most perfect way to symbolize the media and America in general. White man behind desk explains. Anyway, the first thing we have to address is why the exact term defunding might be a little misleading for some, and what exactly is the problem defunding hopes to address. A proposed rewording of the same idea has been to use the phrase unbundle the police instead of defunding the police. And the reason why is that when you look at the average type of police work that happens in a city, very little of that is actually stopping violent crimes. Here's a graph from the New York Times breaking down the percentage of police duties from three counties and or cities that were devoted to things like non-criminal calls, traffic stops, property crime, and violence. Now you see that, that little 4% sliver at the bottom? That's the actual violent crime they have to deal with, while the other 96% is dealing with stuff like vandalism or theft reports or, as high as 37% of the time, totally non-criminal complaints. So let's, for just a second, I promise, pretend we really like the police. Now, if in that pretend scenario where you really like the police, you saw these statistics, you might think, wow, we're, we're kind of asking police who I like to do a lot of different jobs that don't need to be done by people with guns. We're asking a lot of them. Maybe because I like them so much, I should want to change that and use my metal manipulation powers to fight for this cause in the scenario you were Magneto. My point is that the idea that cops have too many different jobs to do isn't hinged on your opinion of the cops as a whole. It's just logic. Especially when you consider that the majority of police shows and public perception of the police and even the way police are trained is based on the idea that stopping crimes is the main thing they do. Which it isn't. So we have these people raised on films like Lethal Weapon and Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2 and Bad Boys for Life and that show Cops which had the theme song Bad Boys and Lethal Weapon 2 but probably not Lethal Weapon 3 or Lethal Weapon 4 and they're given a gun and told they are warriors who are Jesus ordained to protect the flock and then end up mostly dealing with neighbor disputes and mental health calls. It's like if you grew up watching Top Gun and wanted to be a pilot only to get the job and learn that you're mostly going to be vacuuming the planes for some reason. And boy, you got this gun right there on your hip just, just waiting to be used. Also, 40% of you is a domestic abuser. Not the pilot, the cop, but also pilots, some percent probably, but probably don't have a gun, right? I haven't looked into it. But you don't need to look into it to see the problem with the non-pilot point I'm making. Like, even if Cops weren't bad at their jobs and killing unarmed black people at an alarming rate, which they are doing. But even if they weren't, but they are. Well, it would still be true that they have way too many jobs, most of which don't require guns. Which is why, perhaps, they shouldn't have guns. But if they are going to have guns or be trained in aggressive tactics, maybe those people with the guns should only handle jobs that require a person with a gun. You know, 4% of the things they currently do. And then we have other types of people 
with different training and no guns and different uniforms and titles handle the other 96% of the things. And logically speaking, if the gun-having people are now only doing 4% of the things, not only would that make the people who do the gun things more selective, but also, well, they don't need as much money anymore to do those things. In fact, they would need considerably less money and staff, which is why we would then need to defund them. Them being the police. Defund the police is what I'm suggesting. Did I make that clear? Does that make sense? So when people say they want to defund the police, what they're really saying is that they want us to use our tax dollars, as in the money we pay for the police, to have the police for only the crime things that actually require them. And since that's way less than what they currently do, it will require much less money. And then we use the leftover money to fund new services designed for all the non-crime things the cops would no longer be handling, as well as invest more in our communities in a preventative way. Better schools that maybe aren't funded based on the wealth of the people who live there, outreach programs, mental health facilities, and so on. It's our ice cream sundae. We bought it. And now we want a larger variety of flavors that aren't just vanilla. And to have a larger variety, we're gonna need less of the vanilla first. Maybe a city like Los Angeles doesn't need to spend $2 billion or 17% of its total budget just on the vanilla. Especially since the vanilla doesn't taste very good and keeps killing people, unarmed black people specifically, and only solves half of the homicides in the city. And also, the vanilla has secret flavors within the flavor, celebrating times in which the vanilla has killed people, and also straight-up neo-Nazi gangs. Like, multiple neo-Nazi gangs of vanilla in LA County we've known about since the 90s. Like, literal white supremacists who were also vanilla. By which I mean police officers who are Nazis, like entire police stations filled with Nazis. It's a very common thing that perhaps we should um, just like, like think about. So yeah, maybe defund the police and replace them with new specialized jobs occupied by, perhaps, unless it's asking too much, not Nazis. It's not outlandish to want this. And in fact, it's already a thing we do. Not the Nazi part, because come on, you're gonna have some Nazis, apparently. But like, we already have parking enforcers and park rangers, two occupations that don't carry firearms and exist just to handle one very specific aspect of law enforcement. So why not also have people like that for things like suicide threats, or property damage, or petty theft, or drug use, or the homeless? Doesn't that sound nice? And if there's time, maybe also do something about having Nazis as cops. Not like have them as cops, but like stop having them as cops. It's a pretty big note there. But none of this is an extreme idea. And it's more of a correction to when we dramatically increased police budgets in the 90s, while also greatly reducing psychiatric hospitals without providing any alternative, except those same patients quite often ending up in prison or dead. Because it's broken right now. Our budgets are disproportionately going to the wrong services, and defunding the police is a method of correcting that already broken thing. This isn't a pie-in-the-sky idea, because the pie is actually sinking, and we just want it to not be sinking. It's a pie-in-the-not-sinking idea, because our pie is plummeting into the ocean like a I know there was a water thing with Roy Scheider. <sighs> Whatever. And it could work very well, so long as we understand how to do it. Because, and this is important, the idea of defunding the police is fundamentally tied to creating new and different jobs to handle the duties we take from the cops. You can't just defund the cops and then use the extra money to build a bitchin' water park. You have to create a new support system to replace the cops. 
And if you don't, you end up with stories like these being used by dishonest people to discredit the overall idea of defunding. That's the city of Vallejo, California, which 12 years ago cut its police force by half. But like a lot of recent stories about various American towns that cut their police budget, this wasn't an intentional move, but rather an economic one. These stories vary in success, and no one has quite got it right, mainly because no town has ever actually chosen to defund their police for reasons that weren't the fact that they were broke. Poverty and crime, two completely unrelated things. Anyway, using these towns as a model for defunding is like looking to Bruce Banner for tips on how to get swole. They didn't have a choice, and in fact got where they are because of some kind of mishap. That's why it's important not to pretend like we've actually tried this and failed, or that the people who say we should defund cops don't also want to establish other methods of keeping peace within a community. They absolutely do. Anyone who tells you otherwise is either a liar or dumb. For real examples, you have to look to other, possibly better countries. In Stockholm, they have special mental health ambulances that seek out emergency calls that police aren't needed for. In Glasgow, the police created a violence reduction unit that specializes in rehabilitation efforts like providing jobs as well as intervention techniques and has since seen a 60% drop in homicides. And in Helsinki, they solved their homeless crisis by just literally giving people homes. No questions asked. Wild idea, right? And then there's Ukraine, which decided to solve its police corruption by literally just firing all the police and getting new ones, as well as requiring body cameras for all of them. It's not perfect, nor is defunding, but it sure is a bold idea, which is the genre of idea we need right now. And to be fair to America, a true Farrakhan, there are places in the states that have dabbled with similar ideas. As a response to many of the protests, cities are now looking to budget cuts and shifting money away from police and to other services. You may have heard that the NYPD disbanded their plainclothes units, but stopped short of cutting those officers and instead shifted them to other roles. It's still something. And then in San Francisco, they've announced not only the police will no longer respond to non-criminal calls, but actually be replaced with specialized responders trained for homeless outreach or medical emergencies. That's what defunding would actually look like. It's not roving gangs on the streets, preferably with some kind of costume theme, but a careful shift in how cities are spending their budgets so to emphasize community outreach and preventative programs rather than, well, a roving gang on the street with some kind of costume theme. Like, I don't know, pretty darn weird that when faced with the concept of peacekeeping, society decided to bet it all on just having a bunch of aggro folk walk around with guns making sure everyone followed the rules. Like, that's weird, right? That, that this is the best we came up with? Sequest! It was Sequest with Roy Scheider. Sequest starring Roy Scheider. Thank you. That's the water movie he was in. Anyway, I hope that clears everything up for you. Jaws the Dolphin. Bad boys, bad boys. Give me your money so I can give it to some good boys. Um, hey, thanks for watching the video to the end. Um, it wasn't an hour this time, so you did it. We made it. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, uh, Patreon link, uh, even more news podcast, other links, you good, we good, you, YouTube ch channel, click, uh, subscribe. Uh, zip, 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 zip. Uh.